Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the more general power rule. Um, you know, we, we already talked about the power rule where uh, if we have x to the n, where n is a positive integer, but, um, you know, the more general version is, uh, we could say x to the r, where r is actually any real number. Uh, it could be positive, it could be negative, it could even be zero, um, and this still uh, works here. Um, so it's actually the same rule, though. Uh, d dx of x to the r equals rx to the r minus 1. So um, even though we're not dealing with the only positive integers anymore, um, you know, you still use the same rule. So bring down the exponent, uh, write it as a factor like that, and then subtract 1 from the exponent up here. So that's the uh, power rule in general for derivatives. So <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, the proof kind of requires something that uh, we won't talk about for a few videos. Um, but let's just go ahead and do it anyway, because it's not really complicated. It's just something we have to take for granted uh, briefly. Um, but anyway, uh, so let's start with uh, y equals x to the r. All right, now what we're going to do is take a natural log of both sides. Natural log of y equals natural log of x to the r. So this means natural log of y equals r times the natural log of x. Because remember, uh, exponents like that can be pulled out as factors, right? So uh, now what? Um, now let's take a derivative of both sides with respect to x. So what we're going to do is say uh, d dx of ln y equals d dx of r times ln x. All right, so uh, on the right-hand side, let's look at the right side first. R is just a constant, right? Uh, we don't really know what it is. We don't really care what it is. It's just some constant. So let's go ahead and pull it out of the derivative. So that's going to be R times... Actually, let's uh, rewrite that whole part there. <coughs> so that's going to be R times uh, d dx of ln x, like that. All right, and uh, we know that uh, the derivative of ln x is just 1 over x, right? We know that. But let's come over here. Uh, so here, we haven't really seen anything like this before. You know, we've done a lot of like dy dx, derivative uh, of y with respect to x and so on. But this is the derivative of natural log of y with respect to x. So we haven't really done anything like this. Um, but in order to do this, you need to use something called implicit differentiation. Uh, and that's going to be a topic for a later video. But just for now, um, let's just take it for granted that that's equal to y primed divided by y. All right. Uh, or in other words, 1 over y times y primed. So you see that uh, 1 over y is still in there, as you would kind of expect. But anyway, um, that's kind of slightly off topic. But we'll talk in more detail about implicit differentiation uh, later. But for now, let's keep going with this. So d dx of ln x is uh, 1 over x. So we have r times 1 over x. All right. So uh, this means that y primed equals r times, so we multiply both sides by y, and then what we get is y over x. All right, but we want our final answer to be expressed in terms of just x and not y. But uh, so, what is y? Well, first of all, it's going to be r times uh, what? What's y? Well, remember y is x to the r, right? So this is r times x to the r divided by x, and x is just x to the first, right? So x to the r over x to the first. Uh, you're dividing here the same base, so you subtract the exponent. So that's going to be r. Okay, this r still there and then times x to the r minus 1. So uh, here, y primed equals da -da 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 -da, rx to the r minus 1. And uh, so that's the proof in general. And again, we had to take this small thing here for granted, but we'll talk about that in a later video. So in the next couple of videos, um, actually, let's do a quick example right now. So uh, example 1, let's say uh, we want to find ddx of x to the pi. So it's a very goofy function, but the idea is uh, still going to be the same. It's just x raised to some constant. Okay, it's just x to a constant. So uh, the power rule tells us that, all right, that's just going to be pi times x to the pi minus 1. Okay, bring down the exponent uh, and then subtract 1 uh, up here. So pi x to the pi minus 1 uh, is our answer. And we'll do some more examples uh, in the next couple of videos.